Can you tell me a bit about uh, some of the projects that uh, that your team has in the pipeline at the moment, or so, you know projects that we're working on currently? Yeah. So one is um, and it's completed. So that's the sixty five meg um, solar farm in Germany. So that's uh, the largest at the moment for many years um, built in Germany. I know there's a few others in the pipeline and um, discussed like they will be constructed. And that's good. Look, Germany is a fantastic market. We have a good team in Germany um, and growing. We see Germany as clearly as number one market. And, and that has just been completed. It's on a former mining site. It's, it looks beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. People can look it up on LinkedIn. I think it's... Right, I'll, I'll run some video footage as well and uh, yeah. to, show, to show some of that. Uh, I remember you, you mentioning that uh, you had to do quite some, quite some considerable uh, civil works for that one, right? Yeah. So that, that project really set a few records and it's sort of like the lighthouse project um, for the eye, the eye opener for many in Germany. Like we had um, to move 1 million cubic um, soil gravel earth. And that's, that's when you're looking, when you see it in front of you, it's almost like, a, like it's, a, it's, it's a small mountain um, or a big mountain for Australians. Um, for Swiss, it would be a small mountain, but uh, <laughs> it, it's massive. And then yeah. of course the connection, like we had to connect um, 25 kilometers from the site. So 25 yeah. kilometers, that's a, a lot of copper and aluminium in run, but uh, more so you had to cross 80 properties. So wow. like each landowner, and even if it's just 12 meters or sometimes 25 meters, like you have to get consent and you have to pay them. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Mike, with his property here and Laura on the next, like they talk to each other. So they drive up the prices and then sometimes <laughs> they just block you for the sake of it. And yeah. So that can be um, quite uh, cumbersome and uh, a tiring exercise and sometimes frustrating to get that through. But um, it took us about a year and then we got it through. Um, so by now it's all built and we have reserve capacity. So we have another 25 meg, which we can connect. And people mm -hmm. are very interested now to purchase that, mm -hmm. which is good because once, once you sort out that connection point, same as here in Australia, um, yeah, you're king. That's, that's really like so valuable. And the system is um, completed, which is going through the final commissioning and it's already sold um, to a Danish investor. And, and here in Australia, we just um, in final stage of uh, selling a larger 167 meg um, over in New South Wales, um, the METS project, and um, that's fully permitted, has also the connection um, approval. Uh, so here we also making good progress. Of course, there was a bit of a slowdown because of COVID, but um, now nah, that's fine. Um, pushing hard on that one. Excellent. You've been a busy boy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>